I did not take the oath. I took my oath uh, uh, to the Queen uh, just uh, right after we got elected. So yeah, so I won't be uh, I won't be taking the oath. What about Here. singing God Save the King? Um, I will not be in the house in the chamber when they when there's uh, singing God Save the King. Why, Saul? Why? It's a uh, it's a very uh, for Indigenous people. It's a very complex. Uh, relationship that we have with the crown and uh, I say that because uh, you know there are things that are attached the relationship with First Nations I'm talking about colonialism I'm talking about oppression we live it every day as First Nations it has become a way of life for people and that that's not right and I think uh, we need to be able to move forward in a good way and uh, that perhaps one way is to acknowledge and apologize for the residential schools, the Indian residential school, because there's so many children of our children, our ancestors that died. And of course, uh, you know, uh, we talk about, you know, uh, the doctrine of discovery and how the lands were stolen, how the lands were taken away. And I think we have to acknowledge that. I think acknowledging, apologizing is a first step to move together to be a, a better society, a better country, a better province, better communities. And, and I think that's why I would not be there. So you'd like to hear an apology from King Charles? I think, uh, I think uh, to be a uh, move in a progressive way, I would like to see um, King Charles III um, rescind, uh, make an effort to make that change and also apologize regarding the residential schools. Would you like to see Canada cut ties with the monarchy altogether, Saul? <clears throat> you know what, that, 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 that's a good question and it's, um, you know, um, I don't know how I would feel about that because, again, that relationship with the, the monarchy, with the Queen as Indigenous people where it is the governments that have, honor, have not honored, respected the treaties. And uh, we're supposed to share the resources, we're supposed to share uh, you know, the benefits of these lands. Those treaties that we signed um, from Treaty 9, if there were no treaties, there would be no Canada today. So I think I'm here to show respect, uh, again, to the, the people that are here but also I need the respect back. Respect come, comes both two, goes two ways. And we, we need to, the governments need to start respecting indigenous people in this country, in this province, because enough is enough.